back with another video, and today I have an iPhone 8 Plus. So it did arrive via FedEx, and I ordered this through Verizon. So anyways, let's just cut away at the box. Oh, here's just our Verizon crap. And here is the star of the show, which is the iPhone 8 Plus. This is the uh, gold version in 64 gigabytes. So, taking a look around the box, you do have the iPhone 8 Plus uh, picture of it. And you can actually feel it. it. The iPhone 8 Plus, the picture is actually raised. So that's actually a pretty nice detail. You do have the word iPhone, it is in gold, and this is the new gold color. Apple logo, iPhone, Apple logo, 64 gigabytes, and your barcode information. And if you look carefully, the box itself is this creamish gold color compared to, say, a regular white box. Uh, you can't see it really that well on camera, but in person you can really see that. Now Apple makes it super easy to open. You just have this little pull tab right here. And you can just peel it off. Nice. And if you look carefully, you can see that little lighting um, effect they gave for the iPhone 8 Plus in its picture. So let's go ahead and lift up. We did get our little booklet designed by Apple in California and our welcome to iPhone guide, which is a lot more colorful this time. Basically tells you what all the buttons do and uh, that little tips app you get. You do have your iPhone user guide and your white Apple stickers, which I wish they would have given us gold like they do on the MacBooks, the 12 inch MacBook. And here's the star of the show, the iPhone 8 Plus in all its glory set it aside for just a moment. Uh, we do have the 5 watt power adapter. We have our lightning ear pods along with our lightning to headphone jack adapter which I'm actually pretty surprised they included this time because I thought they would like do some stupid thing like oh we're not gonna give it to you this year because we already gave you one year to adapt to having like Bluetooth headphones or buy our AirPods. So really nice that they included this adapter even one year later. And we have our lightning cable neatly wrapped in a circle. Let's go ahead and take a look around this iPhone. We did go again for the gold color and on the back it looks like it's it's not really gold but it's more of a a cream color, a whitish a gold with majority white. That's what it looks like. But it really looks like these are rose gold, but not totally rose gold like it was last year. But it's not yellow gold like it used to be. So if you compare that with my um, Apple Watch, you can see the difference. And so here I have a rose gold 6S Plus. And the same rose gold was used on the 7 too, so not a big difference. And it's not as pink as the rose gold used to be, but it's not as gold as the regular last year's gold. So that's what's new with the color. Let's go ahead and boot up the phone. Let's push the power button. And this does have the True Tone display. So it will adapt to the ambient lighting. Oh wow, yeah I can really tell the difference now. Yeah I can see that it is a True Tone display. It's slightly warmer than it usually is but it's not like night shift is on and I any iPad Pro users will uh, notice immediately we do still have the same capacitive home button like it was in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus so it's not a real click but it's just the taptic engine inside replicating a click English, United States and if I have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, I can do this quick start feature. So if I probably bring this iPhone close, 
yeah, I have the set up the new iPhone. And this will transfer the current settings, but I'm not really going to do that right now since I'm not using this phone. And this iPhone 8 Plus is currently replacing this iPhone 5, which can't run iOS 11, so that's why. So I'll set up manually. And I will sign into my Wi Fi. Right now it's activating over the Wi Fi network. And. I'm going to try it again, and right now it is activating. I did enter my Verizon account information. I will go ahead and set up Touch ID later, and yeah, don't use. I'll create a passcode. I will restore this iPhone from an iTunes backup. I did get the phone restored, so let's go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. To enable them, I'm sure what the heck. And I will use Siri, set up Hey Siri later. So if you, do you see that? Right now it's a warmer. It's like Night Shift is on, but not totally. So if you click this, right now you see how blue the display is, like how cooler it is. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but... So I'm just going to go ahead and use it with the uh, True Tone display. And I'll go ahead and get started. So one is like, you can barely feel you're clicking it. Two is like, you get a good feedback. And three is, that's what I really like. Three, it's nice and strong, prominent. And I'm just going to use standard view. And if it was zoomed, all your apps would look a lot bigger. And in your text messages app. And if it was your mail. So I'm just going to use standard zoom. Next. And that's it. So now we're going to get started with our iPhone. So here it is, fully set up with its the iPhone 8 exclusive wallpaper. So as you see, it is downloading uh, the apps that were on the previous iPhone. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And if you want to see a camera test, like the portrait mode and everything, make sure to drop a like, and I'll be sure to do that video. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.